What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review slash breakdown. So we've actually got for the first time in weeks an extremely well-rounded and uh, beastly pack I would say. These I mean especially right look first thing I'll say is that if you've got a squad full of legends and epics these players are going to be good squad players and you can rotate them in but you know they're probably not going to make a dent if you've got pretty much got like a a full epic squad or a full legend squad especially with the player form right but the big thing with these cards is is that a lot of these are going to be replacements for some of the best versions of themselves so if you've got a Foden Kunde or Donnarumma card that's going to be out of contract soon um these are even better versions of the card in some cases in most cases these are going to be the best versions of the cards that you can train uh pretty pretty good um, to be beast going into eFootball 2024. And if you're a newcomer, you are definitely going to want to open these if you do have a couple of spare coins. Now, if you're staying free to play, that's cool. Nobody's forcing anybody to open, open cards or anything like that. But in my opinion, for the general person, this is a fantastic pack with some really good players that you can train up to high levels that can compete exceptionally well on the pitch, right? So even if you're playing free to play and you want to get the free coins, if you spin once or twice on this from free coins earned, um, you will definitely be able to get a beast player right so we're going to go through it fairly quick because i am going to do a training guide on anybody that you want here lads so let me know in the comments below what training guides you would want to see there is a couple of specific ways i would definitely be training up these players with a view of going into eFootball 2024 and with a view of obviously changes that are going to be coming to the gameplay in eFootball 2024 especially because when you train players now you do have the choice to retrain them but only until September so it is important that you kind of get a grasp for what type of player you want on the pitch to get the best best version of the card and ignore overall rating right we'll get into that in the training guides we're going to kick off with Martinelli um who in my opinion look he's a good player right he is a very very good player there's a lot of players that are like him I've actually played with Martinelli quite a bit you know what you're getting with him you're getting rapid pace you're getting really good dribbling and you're getting good balance and he is a good player that can play in any position down the left flank left wing or left mid I like him we're not going to spend too much time on him because as you know you are going to be able to get a lot of Roman flank left midfielders right midfielders that can play this role but I do like his player skills obviously if he had one touch pass or double touch it would be better he doesn't have either so that is something to take into consideration that he's not as He's not as kind of skillful as some other players, but he is very quick, lads. He's a, he's a very good player to play with, right? We've also got the lowest rated player in the game in the in the pack here, which is Caicedo. But definitely don't let that dissuade you from getting this guy, man. I mean, I think he is he is an absolute beast, and I think this is the best version of him, right? I have him on my road to glory, um, available as a free five star nominating contract in the end of season MVPs. I think this card is better, right? Because you've got more player skills, as you see there. But then on top of that, with the players uh, comp compared here, you can see that this Caicedo has got plus three tackling, but less three defensive awareness. Whereas this one has got plus three on offensive awareness um, and minus three on the tackling. So the tackling to me is a big one, but you can train that up with just two or three more uh, defensive points. We will do a training guide on Caicedo because I definitely think he's probably one of the top three players in this pack. That's how hard I rate him he's an absolute beast we've also got Phil Foden right so Foden is a player that um you can kind of train him up in a, in a lot of different ways right you can get him to a 96 overall as shown in the picture below but for me I think the thing I'm going to use uh Foden for is going to be his versatility and his speed now the one thing that puts me off is if you have got this version of Foden which is the whole player uh version of Foden I would say that this guy is 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 better um I think he's a better player than him uh, than this one that's out here but this one is a quite quite a decent player to train up as well and he's a really fun player to use as I said with Martinelli Martinelli doesn't feel kind of like you know that low center of gravity kind of really really good dribbler this Foden does I mean he is just an absolute rapid player on the ball and when he gets it it just sticks to his foot one touch pass and double touch very very nice and again he doesn't have a uh, standard form but he's got low lofted pass true pass and away to pass which is really nice. You throw on a couple of additional skills on him and you're on to a winner, right? We have also got Militao. Won't spend too long on him. You know what you're getting with this center half. A um, bit of a pity he doesn't have a wavering form and a bit of a pity that he doesn't have a little bit more defensive capabilities that raise up with when you train up his uh, defending, but his, acceler or his tackling and aggression go really high. Acceleration over 75, which is always a plus for me. 
88 jump, which will get the boost with the player form arrow, and 79 speed. What more could you want? We also have Rafael Leao. I will do a training guide on him. He's not as good as his big time card, but you've got dribbling, acceleration, speed, all in the 90s, ball control at 82. If you're playing this guy through the middle, very, very easily, just take down the dribble. Well, no, I'd probably leave the dribbling a little bit. I would probably take down the speed and the stamina a little bit. I would take down the passing completely, and I would pop it into, sh into shooting if you're looking for a striker. If you're not going to be playing him as a striker, I would get rid of the finishing completely and I would just turn him into an absolute machine get the stamina up there and then the dexterity to 95 to make him an even more uh, beastly version of himself or even that I would probably put in one more into that and then one into passing depending on how you train him but we'll do a training guide on him fantastic player super sub not as good as his big time as I said but a, a close second with this card there's a lot of good cards in this pack lads I definitely think it's one um, that if you have a couple of spare coins lying around you could you could spin Davy I haven't used Davies as much as I would like he's got excellent player skills you can see defensively he's fairly decent with the tackling as well his aggression is a bit low that's the one problem with him uh, which I don't really like and he is on standard form but yeah he's a good choice as well if you're looking for a left back I would, pro I would probably play him left mid, lads, uh, because of the early crosser and because of the pinpoint crossing. It's so overpowered at the moment if you're able to cross the ball in and you've got a good target man up front. It is really, really decent if you're able to do it. We've also got Donnarumma. Uh, look, not needs to be said on Donnarumma, lads. I will do a quick training guide on him if you want it. Let me know in the comments below. But he's the best goalkeeper in the game, in my opinion. You know, even above all the above all the epics and the legends he just always always comes up clutch for me when i need him most especially if you manual goalkeeper he seems to just react extremely well and he's so big and such a unit in front of goal that he is hard to get past he's kind of like can but i actually prefer him to oliver can so yeah i mean that's just probably a personal choice next up we've got kunde lads again somebody that has been a fantastic player all season in e-football He's got excellent player skills, man marking interception, blocker, sliding tackle, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit, unwavering form, which is going to be key now that the player update is stuck on C for all players. And he's had multiple versions of him in the game so far, but I think that this card is a very good one, right? So we had the French pack, it had only 18 levels. It was slightly better with the tackle, or slightly worse with the tackling. So this is a better defensive version of him. We've also had player of the weeks. We've also had the eFootball Championship Pro uh, selection, which had better uh, aggression, but less tackling. And we've had this pack as well, which was the Barcelona La Liga pack, um, which had the same, better tackling. Uh, this guy has better tackling, but pretty much identical cards. So I think this is probably one of the best versions of Kunde. I would max out his defending, get him to be an absolute beast um, at the back, and I would play him either a right back or centre back. We will do a training guide on him as well. We also have the Licht. So what the Licht lacks in pace, he makes up for in just pure defensive capabilities. I have written the Licht off so many times throughout the season, but now that I've gotten him in my road to glory, he is practically a one-man wall. That's, he's so good. I can't believe I've slept on him for so long. Definitely, if you're struggling with leaking goals, I would get him in. And this is a really good version of him as well. So this Netherlands pack is pretty much identical to him, give or take a few. Um, but the, all the skills and all that, this guy is actually better. This young star version of the Licht here is slightly better, in my opinion. Um, even though they've got the same levels to go up. And, you know, this one has got minus three um, in his stat for defensive awareness when you compare them, but plus four aggression. This guy's aggression at 90 is more than enough, so it doesn't really come into it. So, yeah, I would be very happy if you got to Licht um, and to give him a try. And then we have also got Pedri and Musiala. So these are the two kind of big stars that you would say, right? So Pedri, to me, lads, is top five player in the game right now a lot of it depends on how you actually play okay because if you are a super kind of passer um and you like to pass the ball around quite a bit but you also like to run and gun i think pedri is the best cmf in the game like by a mile like i think he wins ball back he's always in the block block and passing lanes he's got excellent player skills double touch one touch pass true pass and pinpoint crossing I usually play him on the left mid sometimes or the right mid even though he can't play there and he still gets balls in. He's still able to attract a lot of defense attention, defensive attention and just, you know, carve holes out, right? We will do a specific training guide on him, but there is an example there of how I would train him up to be a 95 rated version, which is quite decent. Obviously, you can get him to a 96 if you so choose. And then last but not least, we do have Musiala. Now, he's had a few versions of him, right? Most notably, the player of the week, which was a whole player, CMF. 
This was a better version of the card, in my opinion. Um, but this one, also the mid-season MVP was very good. I know a lot of people bought him with 30 levels as well. So I definitely think if you have a version of Musiala, you probably have a, an equally as good one. This one isn't as good as the rest of the players with only 20 levels. But then you know exactly what you're going to be getting with him with that dribble and ball control, tight possession and acceleration all into the 90s with the player form arrow. And you can even, you know, trade that off a little bit. I think that the dribbling is probably too high there. I would probably leave it at that with only four into dribbling. And then you get to decide what other way you want to play him. You know, his passing at 88 is more than enough uh, because you will get that boost. And then you can decide, do I want him to be a finisher? You know, do I want him to be able to shoot? Or do I want to have that blistering pace where I can get him to a 92? Um, it's it's ridiculous. There's a lot that you can do with this card. So, yeah, look, it's a very good pack, lads. I definitely think that uh, the form is going to come into it. A lot of players have C rating and standard form. So make sure you keep an eye on that. But, yeah, I mean, if you do have a little spin on this, we will be spinning later for these on our live stream we're going to be doing a cheeky two hour live stream today to talk about our plans for the week with co-op coming back but that is it for a quick breakdown let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys are opening these and i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe we have passed thirty thousand subscribers so we will have a giveaway this week as well in stream so hope to see you there during the week lads and if you like the video make sure and like it get in touch in the comments below let me know any training guides you want because there is a couple of key things that i haven't gone over in this video that i will do in a more detailed explanation per player per video so let me know which players you want to see a training guide if you do spin these or if you're thinking of spinning these all right lads that is it for me talk to you in a bit